Hello everybody, welcome to the beautiful island of Maui. So in this video, I will be sharing with you all the places that I went to when I was in Maui. It was my first time in Maui, so if you have any recommendations for places that I should go to for my next visit, please drop them down in the comment. So we arrived at 9.30 a.m. and as soon as we got a rental car, we went straight to a food truck nearby. And here we are at the Aloha Thai Fusion. They have so many options for you to choose from. We love Thai food, so this was a perfect spot for us. I personally don't recommend getting the Thai tea. It was 2 out of 5 for me. And this is what we ordered from Aloha Thai Fusion. I got the banana lumpia. It was sweet and crunchy. It so was perfect. And then we also got the trunken noodles. It was a little salty. However, I would rate it 4 out of 5. It was amazing. A perfect lunch for both of us. After eating at Aloha Thai Fusion, we headed to Kraken Coffee. I think that's how you pronounce it. So I ordered a um, white chocolate mocha. It was refreshing and it was perfect for my drive to the hotel. The road in Maui is just so beautiful. If you are going from the airport to your resort in Lahaina, make sure you look to your left because there are some spots that you don't want to miss. On our way to Lahaina, we saw this spot and there were so many people here so we decided to stop by. If you are looking for fresh fruits to bring back to your hotel, this is a perfect spot for you. And right next to this place is Leota Kitchen. There was a line in front of this restaurant so I waited for about 20 minutes before I could get in. Leota's Kitchen is open every day from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. I've heard a lot of good things about their pie, so I wanted to try it out. It was a very hot day in Maui and the line was long, so I was super happy when I got to the door. As you can see here that they have so many options from guava pie to coconut, chocolate, key lime pie, uh, mango, banana. So I decided to get myself a mango pie and a banana pie. They also have monkey bread and my total was $20. Good morning, it's our second day in Maui, so we decided to go to the gazebo for breakfast. I have heard so many good things about this place, however, I did not know that the line could be that long. We arrived at the gazebo at around 7 a.m. We waited in line for a little over two hours before we could sit down. Even though we waited in line for around two hours, it was so worth it. We had a good table, so we had a pretty amazing view of the ocean. I would come back to this place again because the food was amazing, the view was amazing, everything was great. I wish the line could move a little faster, but everything was awesome. If you are planning to go to the gazebo, my tip for you is to grab coffee before you come here because you're going to be waiting in line for a while. After waiting in line for over two hours, we were so excited to finally get to the front of the line. As we sat down, we saw that they have pretty cool decorations inside the restaurant, and we ordered some pineapple pancakes, macadamia pancakes, um, some bacon, and their fried rice. This was the best fried rice that I have ever had in my entire life. If you come here, you must get their fried rice. Mm -hmm. 
After eating at the gazebo, we wanted to get a acai bowl. So I was on Google searching for a acai bowl near me and I found this place. It's called Baya Bowls. I hope I pronounced it correctly. I love how beautiful, how colorful the truck was. I did order two different acai bowls. I added some extra fruits and nuts into my bowls. So my total was around $30. Later that day, we went to Star Noodle for dinner. I did make a reservation a few weeks before coming to Maui. I recommend making reservation before you come here so you don't have to wait for a long time. Um, I don't think you need a reservation. You may have to wait for a little bit before you can sit down. Having a reservation is always the best option. We ordered four different dishes from Star Noodles. We got the Nook Chum Chicken, the Miso Glaze Salmon, the noodles and clams. They were all amazing, so I recommend making a reservation to visit Star Noodle when you're in Maui. Good morning again, it's our day 3 in Maui. We woke up early to walk around in the Lahaina historic town and we found Vichy Latte. I did ask for permission before I started filming and the barista was okay with it. If you are in Lahaina historic town, make sure you check out Vichy Latte because the coffee is amazing. I was recommended by the barista to get the coffee bonbon and it was so delicious. I was in Maui for five days and I came to this place four times. That's how good it was. And she's making my drink. It's the Cafe Bonbon. I recommend you to get this drink when you visit this place. Definitely a must. We did not know where to go after getting coffee, so we decided to head back to buy a bowl for some more delicious acai bowls. People were already in line waiting to order their acai bowls, and here I am sitting in my car drinking Vichy Latte while waiting for my bowls to be ready. So for lunch, we went to Paia Fish Market on Front Street. We came a little early to avoid the long line, but we came way too early. So we had to go across the street to see the Panyan tree. It was so iconic, was really beautiful. However, it was a really hot day in Maui. And behind the banyan trees is the old Lahaina courthouse. I do recommend coming to this place because it is free and you get to learn more about the history of Maui. I'm so glad that I came across this place because there was so much to learn from. There are so many objects from many, many years ago. So it was very interesting to be here. And this is the beautiful view from the second floor of the old Lahaina courthouse. However, I'm a little hungry so let's head back to the Paia fish market for some delicious fish and chips and fish tacos. As I mentioned earlier that the line at the Paia fish market can get really long during lunchtime. However, if you get here early enough, it won't be an issue. Not gonna lie, I did my research before coming to this place, so I ordered some delicious fish and chips and the clam chowder. 
everything was so delicious. After eating at the Paia fish market, we went to this temple nearby. I did not know how to pronounce the name this temple, so I'm not gonna try to pronounce it in this video. I have to say that it was very peaceful to just walk around the temple, even though there was nobody there for us to ask questions and learn more about the temple, but we really enjoy our time there. And right behind this temple is a very, very beautiful beach, just in case you wanna go for a dip. It was a very hot day in Maui, so after visiting the temple, we decided to have something refreshing. We went to Barefoot Bar and they have so many options for us to choose from. From smoothie, to acai bowl, to fruit bowl. We ended up getting a fruit bowl and it did not disappoint. We woke up early the next morning to visit the Sugar Beach Bake Shop. This place is known for the pastry and coffee, so I had to try it out. I know about this place from watching YouTube videos and seem like they have a pretty good review on Yelp. Here are a few things you need to know before visiting this place. You can scan the QR code from the sign that they have in front of the store to know what you need to order when it's your turn. And make sure you bring your credit or debit card because they don't take cash. And for dinner, we decided to visit Choi's Kitchen. It is Hawaii-inspired Filipino-Asian cuisine. They have really delicious tacos and fried rice. Uh, I just want to come back and eat them again. I recommend coming here. It's worth it. It's worth your money. It's super affordable. And finally, it's our last day in Maui, so we decided to go to the Kihei Cafe. I was very excited to have breakfast from this place. I heard a lot of good things about the local moguls, so I had to order it. I did not know that the portion was a little big, so I ended up sharing it with my fiance. Thank you so much for watching my videos. If you have any recommendations on where to go or what to eat in Maui for my next trip, please leave them down in the comments. I'll see you guys in my next video, and thanks again for all of your support. Thank you.